Hello there. Let's do the division of a circle in five equal parts, or a pentagon inscribed in a circle. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe the channel. Draw a circle. Then do a diameter of that circle. center is the point O of origin and this end we'll call 1 and the other 2. Afterwards we'll put the needle of the compass in 1 and open it until O and trace an arc that intersects this circle 2 times and afterwards let's do a diameter which is perpendicular to the first diameter for that, let's bisect the segment to 1. For that, we'll open the compass more than half the length of 2, 1. Put the needle in 1 and do two small arcs above and below the diameter. Then repeat the operation with the needle in the point 2. And then we'll connect the two points that we defined and we'll have the second diameter, which is perpendicular to the first one. Let's give to the upper point the name A, and then we'll trace the bisection of the segments above. We have the point 3, and below the point 4. Let's connect them. Now you have the point O1, which is the middle point of the segment O1. Now put the needle in O1 and open the compass to the point A. Now trace an arc until the diameter to 1. Switch the needle to the point A and open the compass until the point I. The distance between A and I is the same distance as the size of the pentagon. So now we will transfer this measure to the circle. Without lifting the needle of the point A, let's transfer this measurement to the opposite side. In this way, any lack of accuracy will be diluted through the pentagon. Then we'll move the needle to the previously marked point and trace another point. And then do the same in the opposite side. And we've just determined the five points of the pentagon. Let's name them B, C, D, E. To finish our exercise, let's connect the points. describing a circle or the division of a circle in five equal parts. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe the channel. See you 